Okay, let me show you the LCD panel of the video processor right now. Uh, you can press the knob into the menu, and then you can see all the menus right here. You can change brightness. You can change the screen setting. This you need to follow the setup guide, and usually you don't need to use that. So you just go back. Uh, Go to the mode setting. Mode setting is when you do the setting you can save to mode 1, mode 2, mode 3, and then you can load it back to use. And the input setting is you can you can preset the resolution and custom your input resolution. If you are using not regular resolution, so you can Output setting is for the scaling. You can set up your actual width and actual height of the, of the screen pixels right here, and then press OK, and then go back. You can, and then you can change the full screen and pixel by pixel right here by the scale button. As you can see. Uh, the pixel by pixel scaling and uh, custom scaling and local scaling and PIP setting. PIP is pixel picture in picture setting. Now it's visible. And you can also change the color temperature and uh, blackout test pattern in the image control so you can you can change the image quality right here gamma and set the temperatures right here usually we just use normal and then we go back and you can change the language right here and the advanced setting is for factory reset. Usually, we don't need to use that. Uh, if you have multi signals input to the video processor, you just need to uh, change the signals right here. For example, using HDMI, DVI, VGA, or SDI. So, you just need to click button right here, and that's it.